after I would feed her, I would offer her my thumb so she'd get the sensation that she was suckling on her mother. I opened her mouth and I saw she had a cleft palate. The roof of her mouth didn't form properly. Cleft palate puppies don't always survive. Her breeder decided to sign her over to me because cleft puppies are so much work. And I brought her home that night. We were in the car on the way home and she was trying to nurse on the blanket. Not only was I feeding her and every two hours, I was ensuring she was going to the bathroom. She was so tiny, it was a struggle to keep her temperature regulated. I just had this fear that I was going to go to feed her and she wasn't going to be alive anymore. At about four weeks, she started eating kibble. She had to drink out of a hamster water bottle. She really showed us that she wanted to live. She was feisty from the get-go. That's my sleeping mask. Hey! She started growling. She would talk. Are you a raccoon? Oh my, what was that? She grabbed toys that were three times her size. Oh, he's so scary. She was starting to do this little crab walk. It was kind of amazing to see her getting around. She has all kinds of things that she says to us. She tells us that she's sassy and she's in charge. I wish you could do it in person, because it really does sound like a chicken clucking. She just wants to play all the time. She would wrestle with my kitten. She'd go after our bigger dogs. She doesn't know her size at all. Jennifer is my French Bulldog. She was a breeding dog. I eventually fostered and adopted her. She's just a mama. She would stand over me and watch me as I was taking care of Vera. She took over the things I couldn't do. She groomed her, she snuggled her. As Vera got bigger, they started playing, they would chase each other. One of their favorite things is laying on the hammock in the backyard. She really didn't have much personality, and now that Bear is in the picture, she acts like a puppy herself. Juniper! I suffer from a chronic illness called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and some days I'm in excruciating pain, and all I have to do is look at her, and she just does something goofy, and she makes me happy. She is what I call my heart dog. She's just my best friend.